Hey Notion nerds, Tasia like Fantasia here with another Notion quick tip for you. Today we're going to talk about how to create columns inside of callout blocks. If you find this tutorial helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay tuned for the next Notion quick tip video. Okay, let's dive in. You'll notice when we're in Notion, if you want to create a callout block, you can do that using the slash and just start typing CAL and it'll create a callout block for you. And when you create the callout block, you'll notice it uses the default icon for whatever the last one you used. For this, let's go ahead and switch it over to the idea emoji just for right now. So if you hit enter, it's going to take you out of the callout block. But if you drag, the text block inside the callout block, then what that does is it extends your callout block. That's one way that you can extend the callout block. The other way is when you're inside of the callout block, if you go ahead and hit shift enter after that first line of text, it's going to continue with the text, but that's going to be considered one text block. So it will be a little bit different with the formatting depending on your approach to using these callout blocks. What we're wanting to do today is to create columns inside of the callout block. And you'll notice if I try to drag and drop a second column in here, it doesn't let you do it inside of the callout block. You can do it next to the callout block, but not inside. This is going to be a very similar hack to what we do in order to create columns inside of toggles. First things first, you're going to want to turn that callout block into a page. And I'm using the on screen editing for this so you can see what I'm doing. Usually when I'm working inside of Notion, I just use keyboard shortcuts. It makes my workflow a lot faster and a lot more streamlined. But in this case, I want to show you how to create those col columns inside of callout blocks. Column one, column two, and column three. And here's another tip. When you're creating columns, if they're ordered like one, two, three, instead of dragging it all the way over to the far side here, what I like to do is I think about the order of the columns I want to use. And the one that's gonna be to the far right, we make sure that one's on bottom. And then you just do quick drags over to the left side. And that is a lot less dragging all over the entire screen and saves a couple seconds. But if you're going through and doing a lot of quick editing in Notion or quick building, seconds turn into minutes over time. So now we have our page with the different columns inside of it. We want to go back to our parent page and you'll see that it's highlighted as a page block. So we'll just go ahead and click into that menu, turn into call out. And voila, you see we have columns inside of your callout block now. And once you have those initial columns created, you can actually drag and drop additional columns inside of this callout block. So if you need to add columns after the block has been converted into a column callout block, you're able to go ahead and do that. So we see column four here now. And you can just keep typing underneath and there you can add on to or build onto those columns underneath. Okay, Notion nerds, thanks for joining me for today's quick tip video. Let me know in the comments below how you plan on using this tip in your Notion workspace. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when the next Notion quick tip comes out. Stay creative.